Several years ago I installed these windows in this tank and this one is starting to leak now on both sides. Um, this tank originally was free, it was a manufacturer's defect and they said that the walls were a little bit too thin on it. And I didn't really care since I was just going to be holding the water. However, the shape of the tank has actually bowed a little bit and I think that's what's causing the leak is this area is bowed out and it's separated from the uh, polycarbonate. So it's no fault of the glass itself, it's probably just my free tank. So we're going to try a couple of things. I'm actually hoping that this is going to be a short video and my first attempt at repairing this uh, will go as planned. Today's video is brought to you by our Patreon contributors. Our top contributors are GrowPockets.com, GlassBottleOutlet.com, GreenLifePlanet.net, and TrueAquaponics.com. When this first started leaking, I didn't pay much attention to it and sort of let the uh, tank heal itself. The algae that was in the tank would basically reseal the cracks. But then uh, every time that I cleaned off the windows, I think the pressure against the window would reopen the wound and now the uh, bulge in this is just too much. I'm estimating I'm losing five to ten gallons a day out of this now so it's uh, due to get repaired. Now this is the window that's not leaking and if you look at the side of the tank it's pretty square still or straight there's hardly any bow in it. And the side with the window that's leaking in it, if you put the straight edge against it, there's just a, a huge bow in the side of the tank. So what I'm suspecting is that as it's pushed out, the polycarbonate stayed flat, and it's probably pulled the head of the screw through the polycarbonate a little bit, just creating that gap. First thing I'm going to do is remove the silicone that was against the polycarbonate and the high density polyethylene tank. It really doesn't serve any purpose except for just cleaning up the edge and making it look pretty. Just want to get in here and, and see what it looks like. You can see it essentially peels right off. There's still a little bit left in here and this was the seal between the the window and the tank. And then down in here further you can see the water is actually coming out right in through here. Right in this big boat area. The left hand side isn't leaking as badly. I'm still gonna remove the material try to pinpoint where the water is leaking through. It's right in this area somewhere. Now the bolt head on the inside of the tank is just a carriage bolt so there's no slots or anything that I can use to grab on. So what I'm going to try to do is use my vice grips to grab onto the end of the bolt and then try tightening the nut this way. Now once I grab on I'm essentially going to ruin all the threads so if I ever did have to reuse these bolts I just have to throw them out and uh, get new new ones for it. Not a big deal. I don't think this is going to hold very well. That one worked. I'm just going to tighten it a little bit and then move on to the next one. There's not much material to grab onto here. Once I tighten those two lower ones, the water really started pouring out of the upper one, so either I blocked it from going down inside the wall or it's opened up a little bit, but there's, there's a pretty healthy gap between here. So we're going to keep tightening up these bolts and maybe I'm making some progress on this.
So while I was tightening things up, things went downhill very quickly and the water started gushing out far faster than it ever was before. So either when I turned one of these screws, I broke the seal between the screw and the polycarbonate or this whole area of the gasket is just shot. And I can actually push on the plastic and it stops or slows down at least. So the bow in this plastic is just creating too much of a gap to be able to uh, tighten it up enough to stop it. So I have to come up with a different plan. I'm sure this isn't going to help at all, but I need to order some new parts to do the next part of the window repair. So I'm going to try injecting some silicone into the crack. I can't imagine it's going to hold anything, but sort of a last ditch effort here. Yeah. Maybe another piece of the old silicone over it. Let's see what that does. Yeah, not, not much. You stick your finger in one part of the dike and it comes out of the other side. <laughs> 